talk about the your your performance and then talk about the I, I guess just the whole weekend and what it was. Um, you know, it was I struggled a little bit in the first again, and Coach Williams had to take another mound visit. But um, he kind of just said, you know, trust your stuff and get ahead and you know do what you do, do what you're capable of doing, and then. After that, it was pretty clean. I think it had a first and third later in the game, and then Cole comes in and gets a double play, and then so it was an overall good weekend. Is he getting used to those first inning mound visits? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he has been in the past couple of weeks. You know, obviously trying to avoid them as much as possible. But um, yeah, he's been having to come out a few times. Does that make it even more impressive the way you settled down? And well, and, and Anthony yesterday the same way. Anthony after the first inning, the way you guys have settled in after maybe some early trouble. Yeah, you know, I think it says a lot about you know just the trust and the pitchers and the coaches and um, just kind of each other. And it's like you know you're gonna settle down and make pitches and you know we're gonna make the plays for you behind and you know everything like that. You were a part of this staff last year to get this team to the College World Series. Last year's weekend starters are gone. Now you're in their place. From your vantage point, how do you guys compare to, to last year's starting rotation this year? You know, um, we did lose a lot in you know those three great starters, but um, I think we've kind of stepped up to the to the page a little bit. You know, Jared's pitching well, Anthony's pitching well now, everyone's pitching well, and um, so you know I don't like to say that we're not as good. I think we're just <laughs> as good, if not better. You know, and we're pitching well at the right time. You had such a good week last week. Just announced before you guys start out here, your conference player of the week or pitcher of the week. How's it feel to get those accolades? It feels good, you know. Um, especially seeing, um, you know, their guy throw on Saturday. He threw really well as well. But um, you know, it's a great honor just because you know there's so many good pitchers in this league. You know, you're not going to be throwing, but big game tomorrow night. Uh, Vanderbilt. What's that rivalry mean to you? No, it, it means a lot. You know, they have a lot of good players that I've played against before in summer ball, even as a teenager and stuff. And you know, it's a big game, you know, right down, you know, I-65, and so we're going to go over there and try to get a win. You guys are now percentage points ahead. Do you – a big game tomorrow night, but going into the weekend series, do you start thinking about a title or, or not? Yeah, definitely. Um, we kind of have it in our own hands now. If we win out, then, you know, we're going to be conference champs, and we like that, obviously. We don't want to have to depend on other teams, but um, – you know, we're going to try to do what we can and, you know, win six six games, you know, one at a time. Why have you been so effective? And what's getting better about your pitching? Um, like I said, in the, I still been struggling in the first a little bit, but um, just kind of listen to Coach Williams, what he has to say, you know, trust the process, do what you do, you know, stay in your form, stay in your mechanics, and just attack with the fastball, get ahead. And if you get ahead, you know, good things are going to happen. That's good. Thank, Thank you much.